Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a busy one. We have a lot to do today. Of course, today is going to be another vlog where I'm gonna be running some errands. I know that I film these types of videos a lot, but this is my real life. This is what I do. I have a lot of stuff to take care of and I love taking you guys with me. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching these videos. Definitely, if you do enjoy them, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because it really helps me out to know what you guys wanna see and what I can film for you guys. So we have a lot to do today. If you guys enjoy this vlog, going to Petco with me and taking care of some errands, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. There's also a few other things I wanna pick up while we're at Petco. I do need some cat food, I do need some crickets, and I do want some waffle fries. We have a lot of stuff to take care of today, so let's go. So good. So I guess while I sit here and eat my fries, we can talk about the filter that I'm returning and also why. So this is the filter that I bought from Walmart. It's a really inexpensive filter. I think it was only like 11 or $12. It is for a five to 15 gallon tank. And I have a 10 gallon at my house, which again, we're gonna talk about um, why I'm setting that up. Don't worry, it's not for the frogs or the tab holes or anything like that. As I said, I'm not keeping any of the tab holes. They're all gonna be released whenever they are fully mature. One thing Patrick and I have been talking about is maybe getting a fish tank. So I know a lot of you guys didn't watch the video that I posted Sunday um, of the fish store that we went to. Basically, we went to this fish store. We bought some plants for the tadpoles. I got like this really big lily pad. It's so pretty. The tadpoles are loving it. I think I'm gonna do a tadpole update this week and then also do an update with Lemon. I think you guys wanna see Lemon. I've had a lot of you ask about her. We went to that fish store and every time we go to that fish store, we love all of the fish so much. We look at all of them. It's so fascinating. I think fish tanks are absolutely beautiful. And every time we're there, we're always like, man, these tanks are so beautiful. It would be so cool to have one. Should we get one? And then we start talking about the different fish that we would like to have. And so it's been something that we've been talking about on and off for a few months. But you guys know that like, there's a lot of different animals that I would love to have in my life. So. I constantly go with the flow. I only get pets when it feels like the right time, if it feels like everything is flowing very smoothly, if animals fall in my lap and they're an animal that I've wanted, kind of like Blue did. It was very unexpected, but like I was ready for him, you know, and it felt right. I'm very intuitive with my pets. I'm not impulsive. So that's something that you guys like have to know about me, especially with my channel. Like with the bird, I haven't got my bird yet. I would love to have one. I have everything I need to take care of one but I'm not gonna rush out and go buy one. You know what I mean? Like I'm very intuitive. I do what feels right. If it feels like the right time, the right circumstance, that's what I base from getting my pets off of. I would also love a tarantula one day. However, I went to an expo. I looked for one extensively. I've also went to multiple pet stores around me and no one carries the tarantula that I want specifically. I guess the really rare one. So that just tells me, okay, it's not the right time. It's gonna take me some time to find one. That's fine, not a big deal. I'm a pretty patient person when it comes to animals because I know how big of a commitment they are. So basically every time we go to these aquarium stores, we're always looking at all of the fish and they're all so beautiful. So it's made us basically want a tank. But of course, like with all things, I've been doing a ton of research. Like I had dove straight in. I've been talking to a lot of my friends who have tanks. Because tanks are such huge undertakings, there's a lot that goes on with them. You have to cycle a tank first before you can ever put in any fish or anything like that. I've decided to start very slow. So instead of going out and buying the $300 aquarium that I would love to have, I'm gonna set up a small 10 gallon. And I've decided to do a planted tropical 10 gallon tank to start. My plan right now is to set up the 10 gallon, get the filter, get it completely cycled, and then get all my levels down where they need to be. And basically just maintain this 10 gallon as if there was a fish in there. I don't know if you guys are interested in fish aquarium videos or anything. Um, Patrick and I are really doing this just for fun, just as something that we want to do so that when we do decide to get fish in the future, we'll be prepared and we'll know exactly all of the ins and outs of it. And I'm also starting small with a 10 gallon just to like get my bearings and you know, get into the routine of taking care of a tank with no fish in it, just plants. That way I can really get a feel for what it's like to take care of them. And I think feeding and cycling and taking care of a planted aquarium with no fish in it, I think it'll give me a lot of really good experience so that by the time it's fully cycled, which may take a month or so, if and when I do decide to get some fish for my bigger tank, I think I'll be ready. 
So that's why we're going to Petco today. I wanna to get a better filter so that I can properly set up this 10 gallon with the plants and everything. And then I can start the cycling process and then we basically can go from there. But if you guys are interested and you wanna see videos on the fish tank setup and everything, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'm almost done with my fries. I'm gonna finish eating and then we will go to Petco and we will get everything for the fish aquarium. I'm really excited. Okay, so I guess, I guess this was a bust of a trip because Petco didn't have the filter that I needed. They told me to go to Walmart, but the thing is, I went to Walmart and this is the type of filter that they have at Walmart. I need the Aqua Clear filter and this is Aqua Tech, but I don't know where to get it and I thought that they sold them here, but apparently they don't. Also, all of their moss balls, which I was actually gonna buy a few moss balls today because I really wanna put those in my planted tank. The moss balls that I needed, they only had them like in their tanks that have fish in them or whatever, and then they would just scoop one out and give them to you. But I really don't wanna do that. I don't want the moss balls that are like in their tanks. I just feel like those are contaminated. If any of those fish are sick or anything like that, which like likely, that just worries me because I'm not buying any of my plants or my fish from any box stores like PetSmarts and Petco's or anything like that. You guys know I'm not big on buying pets from PetSmarts and Petco's, so I'm not gonna be getting my fish from them. But the thing is, is I really don't wanna get my moss balls or my plants from them either. Their tanks really aren't the nicest. They really aren't the most kept, you know what I mean? That's why like, I would prefer to go to like an aquarium store for plants or maybe reach out to a company for plants or something like that. Although I do know that our PetSmart does have the moss balls that I want and they don't keep them in their aquariums. They're actually in like beta cups and they keep them separate from their aquariums. So that's what I was hoping Petco would have. They didn't have them. They also didn't have the filter and they also only had like 10 options for rocks for your tank. They had a bunch of like painted gravel and stuff, but I want natural gravel. So that was pretty upsetting. They didn't have that either. I know that the fish section at our PetSmart is massive and I know that I've seen all of the stuff that I'm wanting to get at that PetSmart, which really sucks because it's like on the other side of town. But there was a few things that I was able to get. I did get lemons crickets and they are feisty right now. I also got Dixie a couple of cute little chew toys. I got a dinosaur and a star because she loves chewing up her toys. I also 
got one small bottle of tropical fish food and I know what you're thinking you're like you don't have a fish why did you buy fish food well here's the thing in order to cycle a tank there's a lot of different ways you can do it but one of the ways is with some pure ammonia and fish food and you basically will feed the tank as if there was a fish in there even though oh, I just threw it you still feed your tank like there is a fish in there even though there isn't and then you just let your tank cycle and pretend like there is a fish living in there and that's how you grow your good bacteria in your filter and that is how you cycle the tank so I did have to get some fish food and this is tropical fish food I think it'll work fine just for the sake of cycling they did have one thing that I needed they did have some of these flourish tabs these are actually for planted tanks it's basically like planted tank food because I didn't want to get the soil substrate. I think I'm going to go rocks for the 10 gallon. And then if I get a bigger tank, I may do a different substrate for, that's better for planted aquariums. But basically, these tabs are completely fish safe from everything that I've read. Obviously, if you guys disagree or you've heard anything about these, let me know in the comments as usual. But from all of the research I've done, these are perfectly safe for fish. You basically just bury a tab near your plants in your tank underneath the substrate. And then it like slowly releases food for them, basically. So I did grab a bag of these. Everything I've seen says that they're safe. So, so I wanted to get some of these. And I did price match online. So they were about $9.99. And then of course I had to get some light bulbs for my 10 gallon hood because the lights that I have in my 10 gallon are completely dead. I haven't used them in ages. I haven't used this tank in a really long time other than for lemon. So I haven't changed the bulbs out. So I did get some of those. And sadly, that's all I bought at Petco. So I do kind of feel like this was a wasted trip just because I really, really wanted those moss balls, a substrate and a filter. Like basically the three things that I need in order to like put this tank together. So I'm definitely going to have to go to PetSmart. If you guys want to go with me to PetSmart to buy the rest of the stuff that I need, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I guess we're wrapping this video here. It was still fun, right? We had fun. You guys like the waffle fries. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below. If you are interested in following me along on my little planted tank, fish tank series, possibly getting a fish in the future, just depending on how the first tank goes, let me know in the comments down below as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.